Climate change is real. It's hurting people's livelihood systems and endangering communities' access to water. Through the journey of three African countries, we get a clear picture of why climate action is inevitable. Water aid projects in Ethiopia, Tanzania and Uganda pinpointed communities' struggles to access decent water, sanitation and hygiene wash services as climate change impacts intensify. Ethiopia, Tanzania and Uganda are experiencing changing weather patterns and unpredictable rainfall, limiting communities' access to safe and clean water. This leads to a vicious cycle of disease and poverty, putting pressure on water utilities, triggering unfavorable options to mitigate, such as rationing and service interruptions. Water Aid with partners have been working to implement projects that are climate resilient, meaning that in the event of extreme weather, communities still have access to wash. I am from Ethiopia. In my country, Water Aid developed a climate resilient and sustainable wash service. This strengthened management models for rural multi-village systems and supported the construction of two multi-village water supply systems with seven water points and house-to-house -house connections serving 5,800 people. The WASH initiative has empowered communities in need, including around 495 pro-poor and low-income women who now access WASH services. The days of walking more than 30 minutes to unprotected water sources to fetch water from tubs are long gone for villagers like Zaudu. Zaudu, farmer and chairman of his village water committee in Amara Regional State in Ethiopia, now enjoys the newly constructed water point and spreads awareness on the proper use of the water facility and conserve the environment by planting trees. WaterAid also organized an extensive training for community members on how to manage and operate the new climate-resilient water systems. Through the training, community members also learned about different ways to integrate climate-resilient water solutions at the district levels and improve watershed management. And I'm from Uganda. Water Aid's support for the Resilient Initiatives for Vulnerable Entities, Strive Project, has rescued wash services by developing critical interventions. One such intervention includes the Catchment Management Committee, carrying out awareness campaigns on risks of flooding, lightning strikes, and mudslides. The project enabled the construction of 25 household rainwater harvesting tanks, the development of catchment protection plants, and rehabilitation of boreholes to cater water year-round. The Strive project also mainstreamed gender issues as women groups assumed a critical role in coping with climate-resilient mechanisms. As a climate action champion from Tanzania, I am happy to say farmers like Gabriel won't be losing crops and will no longer have to spend up to $700 to build a brick fence to protect their farm from flooding. In Tanzania, WaterAid has strengthened our water resource management skills and equipped 10 climate change community champions like me. Between November 2021 and March 2022, we planted 6,000 trees to contribute towards reducing the impacts of climate change in my community. WaterAid introduced a low carbon emitting technology to mitigate the risks of climate change. Sangara villages now enjoy a sustainable water supply scheme fitted with a solar powered water pump. These are just some of the ways WaterAid, through joint efforts with partners, have made towards climate action to empower communities with sustainable and resilient mechanisms. The climate crisis is a water crisis. We must act fast.